Hey, sis. Your husband won't be coming home today, okay? Did you know that? Uh-huh. How did you know about that? Because he's spending the night with me. What do you mean? He left the house saying he was going on a business trip today. That's what I meant. I'm telling you that your husband and I are together. You're so dumb. That's why you lost your husband to me. What are you really saying? By the way, I'm going to get not only your husband but also that house. So get the hell out of there. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not a very fast learner. I have to explain everything from the beginning, don't I? Will you listen to me? Yes, please. Your husband and I are having an affair. You're lying. Well, listen to me. So you see, he wants to leave you and marry me. So I'm going to move into that house, and you'll have to move out in the near future. Do you understand? I understand what you're saying. But it never occurred to me that he would do something like that behind my back, so... Well, you don't expect that would happen to your own husband. Don't get down. I still can't believe it. I'll have to question him when he gets home. He and I love each other. Please don't be too hard on him. I had no idea, by the way. Because we just started dating recently. Oh, really? Yes, we did. So? What do you mean, recently? Don't be shocked, okay? Since half a month ago, he came to my salon to see me. Oh, yeah? Wait, what? Is there something you want to tell me? No, nothing. Tell him I want to talk to him tomorrow, so tell him to leave early. Yes, I'll let him know, ma'am. Stop it. You're making me uncomfortable. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Bob, have you finished working? Janet. Yep. It's tough to do walk-in sales. I'm exhausted. I hear you. You texted me earlier. Was it something urgent? Oh, yeah. Are you alone right now? Huh? Alone in a small bed in a small hotel? Why are you asking me that? No, Susan called me earlier and said she's staying with you tonight. What? Your sister? Yes. She says she's staying with you tonight and you're having an affair. Huh? That's ridiculous. I haven't seen her since our wedding. If anything, I don't even remember what she looks like. That's terrible. Sorry, I knew it. I wonder who she's confusing you with. Hmm. Oh. What? Do you have any idea? Maybe. I have a cousin, Bobby, who looks like me. What? There's someone like that? I've never met him. Was he at our wedding? Yeah. He's been traveling around the world since he was young. So he wasn't at our wedding either. He wasn't in the States. Then I must not know him either. But isn't this Bobby overseas? Is he in the States now? Mom said he came back to the States recently. Maybe a month ago. But how could she have mistaken... He used to impersonate me a lot in the past. He even took my girlfriend. Do you guys look alike that much? Then she might not even notice. But I wonder why he is doing this. Yeah, I have no idea what he's after. Well, I'm glad you're not having an affair. There's no way I would do that. I know. Sis... Can't you just move out? I've been trying to reach you. What? Are you going to whine about your husband being taken away from you? I'll take care of it. No, I'm not. You're not falling for something, are you? 
Are you okay? Huh? What are you talking about? He wouldn't trick me, would he? You're the one who's being tricked. By the way, are you going to move out of that house soon? I'm not talking about moving. I'm talking about you having an affair with my husband. Oh yeah, he's crazy about me, so give him to me. Give him to me? You haven't changed since you were a child. It's frustrating that you're married with a husband who makes a lot of money. I'll take whatever I can get. He doesn't make that much money. He just changed the job recently. Huh? What are you talking about? You live in such a big house. Even the house isn't. Soon, I'll be his wife in the big house. Well, it looks like you won't listen to anything I have to say. Just get out of there. Whatever you say. Hmm. If you understand, fine. Bye! Bob, are you okay on WhatsApp right now? Oh, I was just about to text you too. What? What's wrong? Yeah, I asked Mom about Bobby. What? And? Well, it seems he's married to a foreigner overseas and is back in the U.S. to work because of the recession. What? He's married? And working? He was living like a pimp when he was here, and he's not necessarily working in the U.S. this time either. Susan is single and the owner of an aesthetic salon, right? She must have some money. Well, since she doesn't have any employees, she must have some disposable income. Not quite wealthy, but... I think she's in danger. I think she's being targeted. I don't know if she'll listen to me if I tell her that. She doesn't listen to anyone. She doesn't even know about her house, and she just says she'll have the house and wants me to get out. Oh, really? She's got it all wrong, doesn't she? She's insisting that I leave. Are we really going to move out now? Yeah, I guess so. If something happens, we'll get in trouble with the landlord. I wonder if she will understand if I explain it to her. I don't know. Maybe we can just tell her that the house is a rental and we don't own it? Well, that's actually what it is. Yes. It's a little difficult to explain that this house belongs to an acquaintance who's posted overseas, and we're managing and living in it. She's a really annoying sister. I guess so. Susan, hey. What the hell? What are you doing? You never left, so I thought I'd move in and kick you out. But still, isn't it a bit much to just send us your package? You're insane! Get the hell out of there! I don't mind leaving, but can you pay the rent? Huh? What rent? Of course, it's the rent for this house. What? You don't own the house? Are you renting? Yes, it is. We both work, so we can afford it. But it must be a lot of money for you. What? You should just move out and I'll pay for it with him. About that? Does he have money? What are you talking about? You know your husband's income, don't you? It's easy to pay when he makes $20,000 a month, right? What? $20,000 a month? What? Why are you so surprised? Oh, you don't even know your husband's monthly income? You guys are done, aren't you? That's not the point. Is that true? I don't know. I won't tell you. <laughs> Come on, stop goofing around. Anyway, I'm moving into the house, so pack your stuff and get out. I understand. I should be moving out. I know where I'm going to live next, and I'll move out as soon as I'm ready. What? You're very understanding. You can do it. I'll talk to the landlord. Okay, I'm counting on you. 
Bob, is this a good time to text you? Yeah, I'm just on my lunch break. Susan sent her stuff to our house. What? What kind of stuff? She's moving in, and she wants me to move out. Oh my god, what are we going to do? We have to move out. Oh yeah, I called the landlord and told him what happened. What did he say? As long as we continue to pay rent and manage the place as before, it'll be fine. I see. Still, I wonder if she can pay the rent. She says your monthly income is $20,000. $20,000? Isn't that in euro, not dollars? No way. That's a joke, but I think he earns about $20,000 a year. It's a low-cost country. We'll have to talk to Bobby once to find out what he thinks he's getting at Susan for. Yes, that's right. And then we have to tell the truth to Susan. For now, we have to move out first. Yeah, that's right. Let's move into that property you mentioned before. Okay, I'll check with their real estate agencies. Okay, thanks. Sis, I'm moving in there tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. I've already moved out. Well, that's pretty fast for a slow poke like you. So, I have something to say to you. What? You still have something to say? Your husband is mine. You've got it all wrong. Don't you understand? You're getting tricked. I was wondering what you were going to say. That you're mad at me for taking your husband away from you? What is this? You are making me feel bad. You need to listen to what I have to say. What? Who are you dating now? Who is it? Tell me his name. Huh? You forgot your own husband's name, you senile old bag. My boyfriend is your husband, Bob. I knew it. What do you mean, I knew it? You must have lost your mind after I took him away from you. You know, my husband's name is Bob, not Bobby. What? What are you talking about? I saw him at the wedding. There's no way I could be wrong. Bob says this Bobby is his cousin. Cousin? But his face! They look so much alike you'd think they were twins. That's absurd! And this Bobby has been living abroad for a long time and has a foreign wife there. You're the one who is having an affair. <laughs> what? It's not funny! Sorry. And since the economy isn't good over there, he came back to the U.S. a month ago to work. Even though he has a monthly income of $20,000? That's a lie, too. He said he makes $20,000 a year, at most. You must be kidding! I'm sorry, but it's not a lie. You're being deceived. And then, he wants to divorce his wife and be with me. I heard he was happy that they are going to have a baby soon. What about living together at your house? He's planning to invite his family to the U.S. to live with him soon. What about the co-signer for the consumer loan? Huh? I don't know about that. You can't easily agree to something like that. Because he needed the money to start a new business. Hey, that's not what I expected. What should I do? Where is he? When did you last see him? Is he with you? He hasn't seen me lately. He says he's busy. You're in big trouble. Anyway, I'll call you again. You look for him. Okay. Bob, I found out something terrible. Janet, it's a new revelation over here, too. What? What? But I'll tell you first. Bobby is borrowing money from a consumer loan company with Susan as a co-signer. What? That's not good. What kind of information do you have? Well, I checked with my mom, 
and she said his wife had just given birth, and he went back to his home overseas. What? What about the debt and Susan? I don't know either. Sorry, what's going to happen? I'm sure she will have to repay the debt. It's terrible. Really, he has a child abroad. He's got money, and I feel sorry for Susan. I don't know what to say to her. Let's talk in person. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sis? Susan, where are you now? Your salon is closed. What happened? I closed my salon. I can't open for business because debt collectors came. What? So, I was thinking of going to his house overseas. What? What do you mean? Then, I was thinking of kicking his wife out and living with him. Don't be ridiculous. You were cheated. He told me he'd leave his wife and we'd be together. That he'd marry me. Wake up. And you said his house? But you don't know where it is, do you? But I was able to identify it on a social networking site. I just sent him a DM. He said he's on his way to see me. Hey, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious because he said he loved me. He said he was leaving his wife. I don't know what to say anymore. Okay, go ahead. Go and find out what's really going on. Huh? What's with that tone? Do you really think I'm going to be crushed? I didn't mean it like that. Well, okay. I'll be on my way. Don't do anything rash. She followed him overseas, and apparently she went to his house there. When his wife found out what happened, she got mad and stabbed him. He was not killed, but the police were involved, and it was reported on the news. She returned to the U.S. and sold her salon to pay off her debts, but she is short of money. She's now working in a brothel. Bobby, on the other hand, is divorced from his wife and is demanded alimony. He has been unable to work due to the after effects of the stab wounds and is having trouble making ends meet. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.